Welcome to the next episode of Burning with Intelligence. Today, I'll be talking about our latest controller, the Autoflame Flame Safeguard, where you'll learn about its extensive list of features and exactly how the controller works. The Autoflame Flame Safeguard is designed to be a swap-in replacement for your typical flame safeguard that you're used to seeing on site, interfacing with your existing mod motor and thermostat controller. The device is going to output your pre-purge, light off and release to modulate commands, monitor the flame and control your burner outputs just like a typical flame safeguard. However, as is the Autoflame way, we've also encompassed many additional features into the Autoflame Flame Safeguard such as password protection, customizable safety times, downloadable data, valve proving, and many more. Now the Autoflame Flame Safeguard carries the same hardware and approvals associated with the Minimark 8MM. So when your customer is ready, they simply need to software unlock the Flame Safeguard to enable the full range of features that you get with the Minimark 8MM. Here I am using the Autoflame Flame Safeguard to control a Modutrol motor. We do this by utilizing our channel one switch neutral outputs wired through two relays, which are detailed next to me here. Now these two relays ensure that the correct commands are driven from the Flame Safeguard to the Modutrol. And once the device is happy, we will release the Modutrol to modulation. When this happens, we relinquish control from the Flame Safeguard, switching over to a zero to 135 ohm signal from the pressure trough. Now the relay module that I've got next to me here from Autoflame is optional and you may wish to use existing relays or your own relays entirely. When you purchase your Autoflame Flame Safeguard, there is a new option 109 which will automatically be enabled. This is your Flame Safeguard mode. You can see here, if I come back to your main commission mode menu, Commission, gas pressure commission, air pressure commission, and your commission data are all disabled. That's because there is nothing to commission within the system. However, I go to my options and BC down here, these are all your burner control options, meaning all of your customizable safety times for your gas and oil are all present within the system. Here I am in the run mode of the Autoflame Flame Safeguard. Now this screen will be pretty familiar to you, however, this is now the only screen that the customer is going to be looking at. However, we do have a few options down here, so we can access our options and parameters, however, only in read-only mode. We can view our run times, defining when the burner switches on and when it shuts down. We can also go to our system log, which is sort of a combination between your fault log and any configuration changes within the system. And then of course, your familiar fault log, where we can look at your lockout history, errors, alarms, and your warnings. And we can also navigate to history up at the top here, where in this case, we're using a flame rod, so we're monitoring your ionization signal. However, the same UV and IR configurations that you're used to seeing on the Mini Mark 8 are also available on the Flame Safeguard. Any faults within the system, your runtime schedule and your Terminal 53 running interlock circuit will all shut down the burner and these will be logged in your fault log and your system log. Now Terminal 70 and 71 are switched neutral outputs from the Flame Safeguard and provide the high initiate, low initiate and release to modulate commands via those two relays. Now when Terminal 71 is low and Terminal 70 is high, the motor moves to purge. When Terminal 71 is low, and terminal 70 is low, the motor moves to light off. When terminal 71 is high, however, the motor then is released to modulate via your external pressure controller. Now I've got here my option 154, which in this case, I need to enable my start position interlock. In option 155, I then need to enable my purge interlock. So both my purge position interlock and start position interlock must be enabled. Now I can optionally use terminal 82 for valve proving, where I'm going to use a low gas pressure switch input and enable it via option 156. 
Here I am in the run mode of the Alta Flame flame safeguard. So if I enable my burner, as in I'm putting a voltage input into terminal 53, my running interlock circuit, and assuming there are no active faults or nothing preventing the burner from starting, it's going to go through its startup phases. So we've just completed our fail-safe relay checks. We are checking the air switch at this point, and now we're running to purge. So we've output a signal from the flame safeguard to our mod motor via those two relays, and we are moving the linkage arm to its purge position. Now I have a 20 second pre-purge time set on this flame safeguard. The default is 40, it's purely 20 seconds just for this demonstration. So you can see here the same phase description that you're used to seeing is available on the flame safeguard. And we can see exactly how long we are purging for. So there are two switches, end switches within the mod motor and when they make they will put an input into the corresponding terminal of the flame safeguard. So we have proved that we met our purge position. We're now running to our light off position meaning the motor is now driving to its light off point. Now once this switch makes we put another input into the flame safeguard and this is how we ensure that each phase can move on to the next. So there we go, the end switch was made. We're now moving to ignition and pilot. After pilot proving, we then energize our main fuel valves to all of your standard burner outputs. And once our main flame proving time has elapsed, we then release the motor to modulate. Now, as I said, we then relinquish control from the flame safeguard to our pressure trough. Now, I actually have a potentiometer wired up to my motor and this will simulate a 0 to 135 ohm signal from the pressure trough. So we can see we've now hit a fixed point of modulation in just a moment. Now if I then start rotating my potentiometer you'll see this linkage arm start to move. So if I rotate it one way which is just a proportional 0 to 135 ohm signal, you can see my linkage arm moving this way. If I rotate the other way, we're now going to start moving clockwise. Now, when your customer is ready to upgrade their Autoflame Flame Safeguard, we will issue you with an unlock code. Exactly the same as the Mark 8 MM, that unlock code can be uploaded once in commission mode, either via the download manager, or you can actually type it in via the on-screen keyboard. I do have a few slides here that just go through that process. Now, once your Autoflame Flame Safeguard has been unlocked, you need to navigate to option 109, which is your Flame Safeguard mode, and disable that. Now, once you do that, you're enabling the full functionality of the Minimark 8 MM. Now we do have three new part numbers associated with the Alta Flame Flame Safeguard, which I've got listed here. If you've got any questions about anything to do with the Alta Flame Flame Safeguard, please do get in touch with me using our normal channels that you contact me on. And we're working hard to bring you more and more video content like this. So tune in next time for more intelligent answers to burning questions.